Hey everyone! So for today, I'm going to show you how to pack light for a weekend and this weekend includes going to Disneyland and Universal Studios. So for this weekend trip, I like to use a duffel and it's perfect for short trip because it fits everything that I need and more. So before I start packing, there are four things that I like to ask myself. Where am I going? Where am I staying at? How long am I going to be there? And what am I going to do? So I know that I'm going to LA. I'm going to be staying at my friend's house. I'm going to be there for three days and two nights. And activities I'll be doing is just going around the city, eating Korean barbecue, going to Universal Studios, and Disneyland. So one way to pack light and efficiently is to plan. And one way to go about it is to just give yourself some time to pack and really give yourself some time to think because you want to think about things you want to bring and things that you don't want to bring and like your must-have items and things that you know you're okay living without. So I like to pack according to activities that I'm doing and I like to pack in packing cubes. And the reasons why I like packing cubes are because they're efficient, they save space, and they make the packing and unpacking process much faster. And it's so easy, it makes everything neat and everything just stays in its place and you know where they are so you're not like shuffling around with your bag looking for this one particular thing. So that's why I like packing cubes and I highly suggest it for you. They even have it at the dollar store like Daiso and these are mine. I have three and these are from Eagle Creek. So time to pack according to what I'm doing in LA. On the first day, I'm just going to be going around, eating Korean barbecue, and just being with friends. So on that day, I'm going to be wearing a dress and sandals. And since I'm coming on the day of, I don't need to pack it because I'll be wearing it. So I'll just go straight to the airport wearing this. On the second day, I'm going to be going to Universal Studios and I'm going to be packing a pair of shorts, a t-shirt. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to include the underwear that I plan to wear with it too. And for shoes, I want to wear something that's comfortable. And here I have these Converse sneakers. And Converse are not always particularly comfy, especially if you're walking around with it but I live in these shoes and it's okay with me. So for these shoes I'm gonna pack them in this reusable bag that I got, roll them up inside and put it away. So on the third day I'm gonna be going to Disneyland and just because of the nature of the rides there I'm more likely to get wet and get soaked so I want to wear something that'll dry quickly like gym clothes and I have a lot of them so I'm just gonna go pack them. So here I'll pack my gym shorts, a gym shirt and my sports bra with the underwear and I'll just wear the same pair of shoes for that day too. Safe space. Then after Disneyland, I'm going to be flying out that night back to San Francisco. So I'm just going to be packing a pair of crop pants and put that in. And while I'm at it, I'll also include my hat too. This one I like because it has Sailor Moon. So I'll pack these into a cube, zip it up, and put it in my bag. Now for your purse. So I'm just going to bring one. I don't want to bring too much. And that's also one way to pack light. And since I'm going to Universal Studios and Disneyland, I'm just going to pack a small purse with me so that I can easily Put it inside those little nets that hold your stuff when you're on the rides. This is the purse that I'm using. It's small, it's spacious, it fits my wallet, phone, charger, keys. And something that I always add if I'm going to an amusement park is I always pack a Ziploc bag with it so I don't have to worry about my electronics getting wet. Now for hygiene. Since I know I'm staying at my friend's place, I know I don't have to bring shampoo, conditioner, body wash, or um, toothpaste. <laughs> so those are things that I don't need to pack. What I will pack are Facial wash, moisturizer, facial sunblock, eye cream, makeup remover, contact lens solution and contact lens case. And while I'm at it, I'll pack my eyeglasses too. And then this little thing to scrub my body with, deodorant, sunblock, and a toothbrush. So for my makeup, just so I know not to forget anything that I need, I'll pack my makeup in the order that I apply my makeup. So that would be foundation, concealer, powder, blush and bronzer, eye makeup, and lip products. And then I'll look at what I have and bring the appropriate tools that I need. Now for me, I can easily bring all my makeup, but I want to keep this light, so I'll be using multitasking items, like this blending sponge that I can use for foundation, concealer, and powder, this compact that has both my blush and bronzer, and this eyeshadow palette with a brown shade that I can double up as my eyebrow powder. So I'll put these together in a pouch and put it together with my hygienic stuff. And that's it! It's neat, it's organized, I know where everything is. And I still have space. <laughs> so I want to ask you guys, how do you pack light? Tell me in the comments below because I need all the help that I can get. Yay! That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you can tell me what you liked, what worked and what didn't work in the video, I can take that in and put it on to the next video so I know what will work. Um, yeah! I'm so... Ugh, my armpits are sweating right now. Like, actually sweating. 
So check out my blog. I'm just getting started. It's called travelingpetitgirl.com. If you want to follow me on my trip to LA, follow me on Instagram. And if you want updates on my posts, like me on Facebook. Thank you. Bye.